not. I really, I move that we table this and adjourn the meeting. I feel it's, it's too important to push this through. No, we're going to go move forward. Well, I, I made a motion. He made a motion. He made a motion. You need a, you need a, if there's a second, you can, you have to vote. There's no more, there's no discussion about a motion at table, but you have to have a vote if there's a second. All right, we have the motion. We have the second. Well, 192. Uh, you know, who's, who seconded it? Yeah. Trevor did. No. I, no. I, I, will, second. I will second it because I agree with Director uh, Pyros that there has been insufficient public comments, input, notification, and it is 1030 at night on a school night. Is that your motion for the... To that is my second and my reasoning why I've seconded it. To stop the meeting, is that what you're saying? Correct. Yes. Okay. Those in favor of stopping the meeting, then raise your hand. Directors Pena, Pyros, and Pinner. Three. Those not in favor of stopping the meeting, raise your hand. Directors Brown, Shannon, DeHart, and Powell. Motion fails for three, four. Okay. Number F. Voting on 192.660, parentheses 2, parentheses B, what we talked about. In no, 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 no. It, different item, Dave. It's a, okay. the superintendent situation. I thought that was our number right there. No, we're, we're not discussing anything carried over from the executive session. Okay. I have a quick request uh, or question, I guess, for Mr. Smith. Mr. Smith, since this is a public meeting and we are publicly elected officials voting on uh, something of high importance, there has to be some way for the public to understand what this vote is. Can you please expand on that a little bit further for us? Uh, I think there will be a way for the public to understand what the voting is, uh, depending on what the motion is made, what motions are made and uh, what's stated in those motions should should cover the context of the uh, motion. Can I answer your question? Yeah, thank you. All right, I make the motion then that we, uh, see if I get the language down here correctly, I make the motion that we uh, terminate the contract of Superintendent Morlock and with a no cause. Chair. Yes. Chair Brown, there's some uh, recommended motions um, in the packet. You should probably use language that's been um, reviewed by council. And to, to just clarify in this, the packet that you're referring to is a packet that the board has not seen and is also not a part of the actual public packet. Is that correct? Uh, there's a packet provided in the executive session. You're correct. But that most that most of us did not get it until the time of the executive meeting. I think it's that same packet. Yep. But we still have not reviewed it, just so everybody's clear. Shannon, well, do you have a copy of that? I've certainly not had time to review this. Uh, I got it when, when everyone else right now. in the group did uh, during the session because, because of a mix-up in uh, forwarding it on to us, apparently not because anyone conspired to keep it from us. I also didn't get it until the same time as all the other directors. Do you have that language to read there, Director Shannon? I can still make but a the, But that gives me pause to think we need to, to have an opportunity to read the information that was sent to us and not move too quickly to judgment. I mean, we tabled a motion on if we're going to figure out if, if a rainbow sign is political or not. And because people didn't have enough time to review the packet that they had for four or five days and the packet that we just received a couple hours ago while we were in a meeting uh, is certainly not sufficient time for me to review it and understand it. Um, Tyler, where, where in the packet is the language you're suggesting he use? Um, there was a... a it's in the recommended course, possible courses of action. There's about five potential motions in there. It's on page uh, 
11, if you're looking at the pages, under the complaint process. Someone's going to have to read those because Rebecca can't access that. And if we want to provide access, you know, she should be able to know what we're going to be voting on. I should have been given, given this information prior to the meeting. Um, so page 11 of the PDF document is, Correct. is chapter 342, teachers and other school personnel. Is that what you're talking about? I'm talking about the motion to give written notice. Could you just read, could you just give them the language, Tyler? I, Chair Brown, I believe what you're, one you're talking about was the motion to give 10 days notice of termination for no cause pursuant to paragraph 10D of the employment contract. Okay. Is that the one that you were trying to make? Yes. The motion is a 10 day termination written under 10-D of an employment contract. That is my motion. Is there a second? Okay. So, Chair Brown, what what is it? What, what is the motion? I'm looking at it. It's, it's a ten no, day no cause termination of contract, notwithstanding so section one of this agreement. Yes. District may discharge superintendent and superintendent and terminate this agreement without any showing of cause upon ten days written notice, and the tendering of the district's certification of willingness to continue superintendent's salary and fringe benefits up to 12 months or pay the balance of the superintendent's salary and fringe benefits whichever is less with understanding the superintendent shall work for those additional months at the discretion of the board such notice shall terminate this agreement without recourse that was reading from the contract That was page five. I think this process is definitely illuminating the fact that, that this is not above board. We've not had time to review this. We don't even know what's happening. The people making the motions don't even know the wording and it, it is illustrating the need for much more time on this. And there was no second, so the motion dies. I was clarifying what the motion was. Is but that, but Doc, is that clear, uh, Chair, Chair, Chair Brown? Brown, you you didn't though. You just read the contract. You didn't read the motion. Okay, can you read the motion again, Chair Brown? I make the motion that we terminate the contract with ten day notice of termination in a written form, which is per part of the contract, the contract for Dr. Morlock. That's my motion. Is there a second? Second. So everybody at home following along is clear this will fire the superintendent. He will have 10 days to leave. We will pay him for 12 months. And at some point, we'll need to find an interim superintendent in which we will also need to be paying. So we will be paying for two superintendents. And the financial and legal liabilities for the district are endless. Nikki, if I may, could we at some point between now and whenever the next time we meet or get a, an estimate of what our total expense will tally up to? Yes, I can definitely get that. Would you like that just in dollar amounts or by staff or? Ooh, good question. I think dollar amounts um, for sure. And then if I have more questions, I'll forward them to you via email. I oppose this motion. I feel that that the board has not tried hard enough to work with Joe and his integrity 
has brought the district from almost crippling financial ruin to, uh, to um, a bond, a $141 million bond issue that he has been guiding through us. And, and we will lose his expertise. He, we will lose his community um, involvement with the Rotary and with various local groups, what work he has been doing on behalf of Newburgh School District. I feel we will lose staff who has, has grown and been brought here because of Joe's integrity and and what what he's being um, because he didn't rush to do something that he felt was illegal. He was protecting the school district from our rashness, and that is what a, a what a CEO does. He sees the big big picture, and I don't feel that that the other school board members have can see the big, big picture. And I've worked with Joe, and I've worked with others, other superintendents, and I have found Joe to be open and honest and trustworthy and, and willing to, to work with people. And I feel that this is not financially um, transparent in what you have uh, will commit this, the district to, and I've gone through a superintendent um, search processes, and and if we can't even get together with a policy committee, how are we going to get together with all of our schedules to do a, a, a superintendent search w involving the community? I I. I'm baffled why you feel this is, is needed to be done and why you feel it needed to be done tonight. I feel you've just jammed this through and insisted upon it, and that does not go. We do not work together that way when we feel jammed up and just, and just pushed along the way. You, you talk about... Um, what was the term you used, um, Dave, about, oh, I, I forgot. You said something in your board comments about um, how, how to look at one another. And um, oh, it, I just feel that this has been on your agenda since day one, that the two new board members were, were voted on. And that you're going to lose, we're going to lose so much from from this action. I'm I'm just very 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 um, saddened of your unwillingness to work together and to work with what we have and strive and sh and be an example of bridge building. Okay. Any other discussion? Just want to remind everybody to make sure that there's no um, personal attacks or anything like that discussed in public session. Who who said that? Tyler Smith. Oh, I want to remind you of the of the legal obligation. I heard. Yeah, we heard. Yeah, it's problematic for so many reasons. I have cried multiple times today. We will be losing a leader. And I'm certain this will be a 4-3 vote. We will be losing a leader who has pulled us out of financial ruin, who has rebuilt community, who has rebuilt relationships. In the matter of three months, four people have completely destroyed that. And I, I am certain that this will have rippling effects for months and years to come. And I doubt that all four of you will even be here when the rebuilding really gets to beginning and when it really starts to happen. This is going to set our district back decade. And not only that, but like I said in my opening statements, it is our children who will suffer. And it feels that that is the point. I fully expect that this will just be added to the mountain of litigation that, that these four board members have currently got us into. I am concerned that we will lose insurance coverage. I'm concerned that we will have absolute inability to provide even basic services to our children 
because of this decision. And that has been widely discussed in executive session and everybody voting tonight knows exactly what they're voting for. That is your opinion. Dave, literally every time I say something, you say it's my opinion. Some of it is opinion, but some of it is fact and it will all come out. And this has been the shadiest, shadiest process ever. And unfortunately, like I said, it will be our children who have to pay for this because they will be losing resources out of their classrooms. And those are my kids. Those are my kids' classrooms that you are taking money from. And that is not my opinion. That is a financial and actual reality fact. Okay. Any more discussion? All right, those in favor of the motion, please raise your hand. Directors Brown, DeHart, Powell, and Shannon. Those not in favor, raise your hand. Directors Pena, Pyros, and Penner. Motion passed four three. I I protest that none of you had anything to say why you wanted to do this. That the public is 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 should... it's it's done. We've already discussed this. We know exactly why, Rebecca, because they're cowards and they know they're going to get sued. We know okay. exactly why. We don't need to discuss. Can I move it. on now? Could you guys adjourn the meeting? Please do, Dave. Please adjourn this. Are we going to move on, or you want to stop now? I, I move that we just adjourn the meeting at this point. I don't think anything constructive will happen with this board again. I'll second. All right. If everybody's in agreement to that, uh, if everybody would like to end the meeting right now, please raise your hand. Can I make a comment to Dr. Morlock? Sure. Dr. Morlock, we know you and we trust you and this pains us terribly and, and know that that your integrity has 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 spurred us to be be faithful servers of to our children and and we wish you well we're so sorry and and we just and am very disappointed in this decision Thanks, Rebecca. Just remember that from the, the darkest dark comes the brightest light. So everything will work out eventually. Okay. Thanks again. All You're right. a bigger man than I am. All right. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much. <laughs>